Jasmine back at it again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little mini tour of Heaven on Earth 2015, or as some like to call it, Hi Mats, that works too. So anyway, um, I was there this past weekend on Sunday, January 18th. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight if you are a newbie planning to go next year. This will be your little Hi Mats 2016 Bible. Number one, please wear comfy shoes. You're gonna be walking all day. The event starts from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is going to be a long day and there are very, very long lines. And um, I know you wanna look cute, but please don't roll up in there with heels on. People are gonna be like, I know she's not wearing heels, you know her feet hurt. Okay, so save your feet the misery and utilize them cute comfy shoes that they have out there. Number two, research. Um, you can check, check out IMAT's website for which venues are gonna be there. Take a list, write down what you need. If it's at the big places, Anastasia, Morphe, Sigma, Dose of Colors, those places like that, you're gonna to wanna to hit those first because you're gonna be in line for a while and then you can hit all the small time places right after because there's no lines or anything like that. Uh, number three, if you wanna be one of those diehards and in front, um, to be in front of the line so you get first dibs on the things when you get in there. I would plan to be um, at the convention center at 7 a.m. I got there at 9. The line was literally wrapped around the entire building, down the street, and around the damn block. And I am not even exaggerating. It's ridiculous. So yes, 7 a.m., grab your little Game Boy and camp out there because you're going to be waiting for a, good, for a good two to three hours, okay? Okay, last but not least, number four, be nice. You are in a huge room full of a trillion girls with their baby mama drama and their drama queenness. I know it's very easy to just when you're around that many girls. Okay, but we are all there for the same reason. We love makeup. Maybe that's what we're studying to do. We are freelance makeup artists, whatever, anything like that. We might end up working together in the future. Okay, so just be nice. Don't be one of those girls if I bump into you and say, oh, I'm so sorry, you look at me like, uh-uh, trick. I know you heard me say sorry, okay? Don't be one of those, please. So yeah, just be nice. Damn. Peace, love, and harmony, yo. That makes the world go round, okay? So now we are going to get into the products. I have at the Lady Moss booth area. Um, I picked up these one, two, three, four, five, six lashes. But these lashes we were being sold for three fifty each, or four for nineteen online. They are usually sold for about six ninety nine each. So hey, they're about fifty percent off. The first one going from top to bottom is Misha, Misha again, Goddess and Coco. The next lashes that I got are from. Appeal Cosmetics Fine Mink Eyelashes. I believe that this is a new up, um, new up and coming uh, cosmetic line because I've, um, because I've never really heard of these before. But they're only twenty bucks, so uh, yeah, I was going to check them out. Last but not least, <laughs> my first pair or three set <laughs> of velour lashes. I've dreamed about these, but I've never had the guts to buy them because they're freaking expensive. They run from 30 to $45 plus shipping and tax online. And at IMATS, they were selling them for, just take a moment, $20, girl, $20. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I should've got more, but I didn't want to go too crazy because the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> Just kidding. Is girl you crazy? That's what that looks like. Next one is Dalmia. Oh, I love these little flared out, wispy looking ones. I keep forgetting to look in the lens. I keep wanting to look at the. Big finder, but everybody kept telling me in my last video, you're looking up, you need to look at the lens. So I'm trying, boo. I am trying. So the last one is what is this name? Oh, keep it on the low. It was originally the Kardashian lash. I don't really remember what it used to be called, but now it's called Keep It Low, and it is for the lower lash line. This is the lash holder. It was uh four dollars. Yay, I got the lash holder. I think this is a cute little like thing to have on the top of your vanity and 
keep your like day to day um, what oh your day to day lashes like the ones you use most okay ink blot I have a bittersweet smile right now because oh my gosh this is one of the things that I was like on my list for eye mats. So these are usually $13 each. I went to eye mats, I was like, oh, how much are your lashes? $10, I went, I'll take two, two please. So I got my little bag, I was excited. I came home, opened the box. This trick gave me blue eyeliner. Blue, blue eyeliner. Okay, and I was trying to, you know, look at the bright side. I was like, okay, you know, it's all right. I can, I can always use blue eyeliner. I can figure out a look to do blue eyeliner. I bought two. Maybe the next one is black. This shit was blue too. I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do with two blue eyeliners? <sighs> but anyway, I was pretty sad. I really wanted their black eyeliner because I never got to try it before and I really wanted to try it. But anyway, okay. So, next one. Anyway, this has been on my wish list, makeup wish list forever. This one here, Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, because I wanted something light for the summertime, because I don't like wearing a full face of makeup, in this, especially in the summertime. Oh my god, the struggle is real with this damn focusing swat whatever thing. So these retail for forty dollars. There be so, there be so. They were be. Amanda Lee. They were being sold at IMATS for $24. I had to cop one of those. I also got the anti-aging moisture primer. This is not for me. This is for my coworker. She needed a primer. So these retail for $38, $22 at IMATS. Let's do brushes. So um, these two again, these brushes again also I got for my coworker. She just asked me to buy her some standard uh, pencils pencils um eyeshadow brushes boom these are by sigma e25 blending brush the e40 tapered blending brush uh e30 pencil brush and the e35 tapered blending brush um also another note about imats if you are going there expecting like a complimentary bag and like free stuff no girl you don't get any of that sigma was the only only vendor that gave out free stuff. There was a travel size of their brushes, the E21 Smudge Travel Brush. You get that. And this is a little sample of their eyeshadows. And you get a little pen, a little Sigma pen. Okay? So yeah, honestly, they were the only vendors that gave out free stuff. I was surprised. I was waiting for my little goodie bag. I ain't get shit. So, um, this is one that I bought for myself. This is the E06 Winged Liner. It's so tiny. The eye brushes, I believe, um, retail for around $12 to $14. And at IMAX, the eye brushes were being sold for $9.80. And next is Crown. I went a little crazy at Crown because, damn, their prices were good. Their eye brushes were only like $3 to $4. Face brushes or like eight dollars i think like eight to ten there's no name but it's like a dupe for the e25 or the mac 217 the c330 pro blender crease okay it's kind of a dupe for the uh diffused crease diffused crease brush by sigma one is the c225 mini liner the c441 pro blending crease this is kind of like a looks a little bit like um, the E35 by Sigma, the C455, but, um, it's a little mini, it's a little mini, like, kabuki. Um, this is the C457, it is a mini round little kabuki. C408 chisel shader. Okay, it's a little mini shader brush. There's no name, but it's just a like little domed blending brush. And it's synthetic, so. C460. Another little synthetic blending brush. The SS032 Pointed Blender. It's like a little miniature dupe of the tapered kabuki brush from Sigma. I think it's the F86. This no name, but it's just a little angled contour brush. 
Okay, let's get into NYX. I just got these three butter glasses from NYX. Praline, Ginger Snap, Cherry Cheesecake. Next are these little jumbo eye pencils. The purpley one is purple velvet, bronze, sparkle green, uh, rust, pure gold, and slate. Next, I'll do these lip liners. I got them from Cinema Secrets. They're only a dollar, so I was like, shoot, let me try them out. So from this side again, it is naked, taupe, suede, persimmon, and lake. This is from Appeal Cosmetics, the same place where I got these lashes. That's a little lipstick. It's called Mock Up. There you go. Look how pretty that is. It's like a blush. It's like a blush rosy pink. I like it. Mauvey undertones. That's my jam right there. Okay, so this one I was freaking out about when I saw it. When is this ever in the U.S. of A? It's Bioderma, the H2O, the oh, H2O, the cleansing water. When I was walking down the aisle and I saw it, I was like, oh my God. And the lady straight up looked at me. She was like, yes, yes, they're available now. In the well, not right now, but she was like, they're going to be launched soon in the U.S. So... Hey, OMG. So these were, well, this was $16 and it came with a little free little guy. So basically this is a cleansing water that removes your makeup. She said that it is also supposed to remove waterproof makeup as well. So Bioderma will be available in the US soon. Hey, hey. Okay. Alrighty, so I got a new Z palette. These are usually uh, retail for 20 bucks. They were being sold for 16 to 18 to 20, depending on which one you wanted this year. Next, ah, I finally got the Spa Glove from Sigma. Um, it is to clean your brushes. It retails for $39. It was being sold at IMAS for $27.30. I can't, I can't even. I was like, what? Can I get one in purple, please? Yes, check. Thank you very much. All right, next. Ah, Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. So it says, this quick drying, rinse free formula will clean, condition, and deodorize both natural and synthetic makeup brushes while leaving a pleasant vanilla scent. Also used to cleanse all traces of wax, liquid, and powder from spatulas, palettes, metal, tools, and implements. So yeah, I, this is worth the 30 bucks. Glad I got it. All right, and last are these China Glaze nail polishes. So they were, so they were selling them for ten for twenty dollars at IMAX or three dollars each. Yeah, that was everything I got at IMAX. Definitely a successful trip. So don't forget, come next year, make sure you take out your little IMAX 2016 Bible. Um, Remember those four tips that I gave you for a successful IMAX trip, and you're good to go. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below. I still would love your suggestions. But also, if you went to IMAX, let me know. Hey, IMAX sisters. Uh, if you got any of these products, if you tried them out already, whatever, you know, communicate. Communicate with me. I wouldn't mind that. So yeah, like, comment, definitely subscribe right there so you can come back and hang out with me, Amanda Lee. Mahalo plenty for watching.